round of Red Hawk vs Avalon of the Far East War Tournament. With me is Time Lords, and we hope Hi. to cast a very nice game for you today. Um, shall we start? Yep, ready when you are. Okay, let's start in 3, 2, 1, go. So Red Hawk was a bit of a slow start. Maybe picking Doctrine. Yeah, and, uh, picking yeah he picked his Doctrine. Yeah. He went uh, Puppet Army. He went for the um, China Garrison uh, tactic. It's very well, strong. Avalon's he last game was a good game. or Well, for him it was a good game, but let's see how he performs this time against an opponent who won't surrender. I hope he doesn't Hopefully surrender. Hopefully he won't surrender. Okay, so basically <laughs> the, Red Hulk won't surrender. the Puppet Army strategy is that you just um, choose your Doctrine immediately, then the China Garrison Doctrine, and you just build the Puppet Army units from your HQ. Uh, they're very cheap, 180 manpower. And they're actually quite good, very spammable. And as you can see, like he has two like combat worthy squads out on the field already. They also build very fast, so um, very curious how it will play out. So he got a third one out. Yeah, four squads <coughs> already. He's rushing it. Already. He's rushing it. Well, he's not building anymore. Uh, I think he should like really commit to it right now, like build even more. Oh, he's building another one. Oh, what a start. as usual, not what going for start. territory, going for the VP first. Which I think is a mistake. I think you should do go for the territory first. I would too, but let's see how this plays out. I think Avalon well, might be overconfident what? this time, but let's see. And what is Red Hawk doing? Like, punching up his units that much. Not like Avalon will have a motard so soon. At all. Uh, Avalon won't be able to. He, had, he needs more fuel. Oh, he's got two VPs. The only thing is, if you look at the stats, Puppet Army has 3 damage against Infantry, Regular has 2. Yeah, oh, this is my He shouldn't be building, he should just use the cover. This is yeah, just he's gonna die now. Yeah, he's just misplaying. Oh, he moves him away. Oh, do we see a grenade? Yes, we do. Oh, <laughs> devastation. Brutal. He has to retrieve both units. Oh, so much for that. <laughs> Barracks is up though. Yeah, I think there was a bit Avalon of a misplay. playing nice. However, here comes the second push. Two engineers and a pupped army. I think the engineers will get much out. Well, if they're in cover, they might be able to do some serious damage. Now they keep him bound. Yeah, I think it's unwise right now to depend on the unit stats because the unit stats aren't set correctly. Not most of them. Yeah, and if you like, um, don't micro them enough. Like that grenade just landed between both squads and he's not using cover very efficiently then. He's running straight in. Like, it's better if he spread out like his units, one on the left side and one on the red, right side of the... Because Wait, right now, if there are two bunched up, like one grenade could just mess them up real bad. Yeah, he's asking for another grenade. He is winning the engagement <laughs> though, which is nice. Well, he, he needs to like, um, take advantage of us though. Like, oh, so the position. MG. Don't let both squads cap. It won't cap faster. Ugh. 
Oh my god, here comes the barrier troops. Oh, you're standing An MG. Ooh. Will he capture it in time? I doubt it. No, he won't. Nope. Oh, oh, getting retreats. wrecked. Getting oh, he's wrecked. not even retreating. Oh, wow, too late. Up oh, the MG. The MG is up. The MG is up. Get in the building. Don't move up to the SMGs. Wow. The oh. He's lost the whole squad. This is painful. Very. He needs a sniper now. He also has like a, a bit pioneer just doing nothing. Let him cap something. Yeah, he could go up to the munitions up north, but he hasn't gone there. Yeah. For the fuel. Like. Yeah, I think the munitions. Now, if he be... puts that MG in that building, he's gonna have a tough time getting that VP. Which he isn't. He didn't put it in the building, he's put it outside. Yeah, if you put it in the, the building, it uh, might have been more um, more powerful. Yeah, a lot more cover. Yeah, definitely. And if, you know, one of them dies, he, the other person instantly takes over the MG, whereas on the outside, the other guy will have to run over to the MG guy to take it. A... Well, it looks like they're not advancing on the VP again right now. First going for the points. Avalon lagging a little bit. Oh, rip that infantry, that man here. Oh, I'll retreat it. You're not gonna get past that MG. Stop trying. Oh, yes. Stop past that MG, yeah. that was a nice run. Oh, no, now it's suppressed. No. Now oh, the infantry just has to slaughter them. Oh, focus the ones on the rest cover. Oh, here's the motorcycle out. Push it up. Yeah, nice. Oh, he's upgrading to an uh, forward HQ now. Grenades on the MG. Oh, is it worth it? Why do you need a forward HQ when you already got an MG nest to reinforce there? Unless you should chase with the motorcycle. Or, or go for um, the MG emplacement. I think that's what he's going to do, he's going to try and flank the MG. Ooh, let's go for a pioneer. No, six. don't stand there. You should um, reinforce this MG. Like, get it out, reinforce it, put it back in. Move that bike, it's gonna get wrecked. Oh. 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 Avalon loves his barrier troops. <laughs> Avalon again hasn't gone for territory. Not worried about the oil. <laughs> Oops. Wait, this is not the oh time we wanted. God. Oh, very bad timing. Very, very bad timing. Now he needs to get an MG out quickly and put it back in the nest. What do you think about um, the MG emplacement? The other MG. It's not covering like the, the flank. It's not covering the flank though. If it covered that one road, um, a little better. You see what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like the, the barrier troop is going there right now. It seems. The flank from there can get flanked from down south as well. Yeah, yeah, true. Avalon doing a good job this time. Wow, oh, that MG has killed 16. Yeah, although the, Avalon's MG. the Puppet Army tactic is very strong, I think it's a bit misplaced at the moment. Not playing it right. Yeah, like in the beginning, he the dead one grenade shouldn't happen. Ooh, and now the army is getting slaughtered by the MG. Like the MG, the, the LMG. Granada. Oh sh. Oh wow. 
Oh that my is painful. god. That is very painful. There goes his HQ. Push up, Avalon. And now he has no units in the field. He has an MG, he has grenadiers, uh, engineers, he has one puppet army. As Avalon is packing it, he's got MGs over there, he's got his barrier troops, more engineers, conscripts, and he's got those lecturing echelons. Yeah, again, Avalon is going for the, the German doctrine. He seems to quite like that one. Here comes I the like Panzer it. one. Here <laughs> comes the Panzer one. No chance for Red Hawk now. Unless he pulls out some AT. Which I doubt. Yeah, he needs to take up to the assault phase to get some demolition charges, or I mean the, the satchel charges. Only then he can do like real damage to the Panzer ones. That's if he gets to throw them in time. <laughs> uh, or he should get some more um, MGs with armor piercing. However, will it be enough to stop the Panzer one? Oh, oh, he just got a call in for the um, the Giro. That's a medium tank. He needs like um, 100 more manpower for it. Oh, and he doesn't have enough fuel. Ooh. Tricky situation, the Panzer one is chasing down the puppet army. Come here, you puppets. <laughs> oh, now he's got into the face. Yeah, it's the only thing he could do. <laughs> well, that was a smart move. He's just gonna wait for the tank, I think. Yeah, he is, but it's gonna be a bit too late by then. And moving up and capturing all his territory. Yeah, he didn't have enough uh, fuel. He should have gone for the, the medium fuel point, so he could like get a little bit more of a fuel advantage. Um, however, now the resources are far more in the favor of Avalon. Yes, they are. Hey, okay. why did he take him out just to get him killed and come back in? Does he need more pop cap? Uh, no, 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 no. He far from. He needs uh, six more fuel for the Giro. Eight. Three more fuel. That to lose the VP. Ooh, one more fuel. He should build a more puppet army from his barracks right now. He can build like two of them. Didn't bring out a tank? Yeah, he's going to use. Oh, he called him his tank. Oh, there it is. This and he should start Nero producing more puppets army. He should start producing more puppets army. It is not. Oh! Ooh, painful shot now. Chase him down, Red Hawk. Run, Panzer, run! Build puppet army! Red Hawk, you need to. He only has like one tank. That's it. But he has no AT right now, so he's kind of screwed. Oh, he's building. Oh, why? Why is he building engineer? Go and what? save your oil. What are you doing, Red Hawk? Avalon's doing a marvelous job right now. I think he wanted the pioneers to repair his tank just in case. Um, yeah, it could be, but like he should know that there's not really too much AT if on the field right MGs, now. If there's three MGs, shoot all together with armor piercing. This tank stands no chance. See? See? Oh, armor wow. piercing. Don't stand it in front of it. Flank it. Red Hawk, what are you doing? Oh, the misplace. The misplace. Bada boom, bada bing. Avalon should have turned his um, MGs around though. He only did turn around one. 
not going to do much in the base now, is it? So there's the AT gun, oh, there's the well. Pack 36. Already, the Pack gun. That is the final column for the, the German side. Ooh, the that pack 36 got a nice shot. And the Pioneer control. is getting slaughtered. Oh, there we go. PG, I believe. There's nothing on the field for Red Hawk at this moment. Just spell no the army. Red Hawk, what are you doing? Oh, he cancelled this. Is, is he coming, GG? I believe it's GG. He's making a scout. He's making artillery now. Wow. He's building another engineer. Don't build engineers. Build puppet army. You need infantry. What are you waiting for? Avalon won this one. Easy. Yeah, the amount of people that like float resources is like fairly high. Like so far we've seen players like float 1000 manpower. It's a bit of, I bit of a waste. I never let mine cross that far unless I needed something that was above 1000. Yeah, exactly. To call in the, for your door. Like a Sherman. <laughs> oh yeah, the Sherman, yeah, of course. Red Hawk just built one engineer and that's it. He didn't do anything else. And he's gonna get wrecked. He's gonna get wrecked. I don't know what he was thinking. I think he wanted to cap the fuel back, put an OP on it, and then um, wait for his tank again. I guess he just realized how much of a crucial mistake that was. Yeah, there's just too much on the field right now. Nothing he can do. And he's floating like 1100 uh, manpower. Why is he not building puppet army? Just spam them, you need infantry. Oh, he has two packs. Strength in numbers, he built a, a motorbike. He has a Breda, he has a pack. He built a single motorbike, it's not gonna do anything. Most nope, bike and there's a pack right there, uh, it's about to zoom in. Early uh, units. Bike is a support unit, it's not actually an assault unit. No, it, yeah, and that's what I said, but it's like an early... Uh, very early unit, for the early capping, killing the pioneers. And he got a special mortar squad right now. Not sure if it's the right choice. He needs infantry, not support. The field gun keeps hammering the barracks. Why is he moving that special motor up? Why? Why would you move that to the front line? In fact, if that was me, I'd put it behind my barracks or a building or behind the MG nest, not in front of it. Uh, I think he just needed the extra range. But then again, like, he needs more infantry. Oh, he hit the AT and the artillery hard. He, how much Ooh. munitions does he have? Why didn't he use the special? A lot. Gas tank. Oh, no, he, he gassed everybody. The special mortar. He went for the other um, half of the tree first of the doctrine. Oh yeah. This motor also has, has a special attack. Yeah, it has like a gas attack, and uh, can fire like incendiary rounds. In the area and poisonous round. Yes. Well, Panzer One back in. Ooh. Well, that Panzer One's gonna be a GG. Like, there's no AT whatsoever, and there's no Chiro out to save the day. Here she blows. Look at 
Look at that MG up there at the bottom seat. Got three veterancy points. No, yeah, I knocked out a tank, didn't uh, I? Which MG? <laughs> the one at the bottom CP. Uh, victory points, so VP. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, ridiculous. Well, wow, look where he's taking his bike now, and they got wrecked. Oh, wow. Yeah, GG. You know this, you know this sniper's hut on the little hill where the munitions is? That'd be oh, a yeah. nice place to put a sniper. A very nice place to put a sniper. Um, yes, I think it does have the range to like snipe people, but it will only be able to help on the, the flank there. Uh, it won't be really strong to support. Uh, you might yeah, be able to lure them in the mine though. The VP. Help the VP. Uh, well, I'm not sure if it has line of sight of the VP. Or range. How's line of sight? Oh, Red Hawk. Red Don't shoot. Sniper has plenty of range, bro. This is a small map. That is true. Yeah, if you put a sniper there with a mortar behind it, or like a little in front, to bait it. To bait people. Would be nice. But well, yeah, this, this is pretty much GG right here. Best combination is a MG and a motor. Motor behind the MG. Yeah. Yeah. I'm running to for the motor, they get pinned down by the MG, then the motor drops shells on them. Uh, I must say that if I think if Red Hawk just built more Pups army, just kept building them as soon as he had like enough manpower for it, he could have been hanging on for this game um, much stronger than he did. Yeah, now. he could have. He could have eventually, you know, pushed him back long enough. Yeah, to keep I, I really enough think resources he to bring could have been tanks. able to win if he just managed to get out more of the puppet army. He needed more infantry presence yep. on the field, and he didn't um, succeed in it. And that first uh, grenade that went out, it sh that should not happen. Spread out your units, make sure you micro them well. They're like, in the beginning, there are only like a few units on the field. Um, it shouldn't be that hard to like, move away from the grenade. Yep, absolutely. So you all, GG for Avalon. And um... Avalon. We'll see how it goes in the second game. Well, I hope Red Hawk has something better to muster because this is a streak for Avalon right now. He's yeah. winning 3-0. <coughs> yeah, right now he's just winning left and right. Um, so yeah, hopefully someone can stop him though. Want to see something else for a change? I hope so. Yeah, um, that'd be an interesting match. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see you in the second round.